For this video, I would like to talk to you about the concept of toning. Toning is the ability to take a picture and either lighten it or darken it to correct for mistakes that may have been made by the photographer in the shooting of the picture. For this example, we're going to take a look at this picture of the Arches National Park in Utah. Now, I shot this photograph uh, with a, a very nice digital SLR camera, but my settings weren't proper. This was right near sunset, and my shutter and aperture were not properly set to expose the photograph correctly. And as you can tell, it's really dark. So what are some things in Photoshop we can do to correct for this darkness? Well, many of them are under the image pull-down menu up here at the top. And if we pull down to adjustments, we see a wide variety of things we can do to adjust this photograph. Now, the one that I'm going to talk to you about for this class is called Curves. When we launch image adjustment curves, we get a dialog box that pops up. And much like all dialog boxes, they can be moved around so we can see the picture as we operate the dialog box. Now, this dialog box has a graphic right here. And the graphic has a white line that splits through the middle. The chart below shows us the exposure. And because the peaks occur in areas where they're not supposed to, that's a good sign that this image has been exposed improperly. To correct the exposure, we're going to take this line, click on it with our mouse, and move it either up and to the left if we want to lighten the picture, or down and to the right if we want to darken the picture. Now we want to be careful we don't go overboard in either direction. We want to take our time, and as we go up and to the left, if what we're doing is lightening, go up in segments. And once we get to a spot where we're comfortable, we can go ahead and hit OK. Now, a couple of things have taken place here. One is the overall image has become lighter. And that has allowed us to see, right down here where I'm currently circling, a little boy. And his pro presence in this photograph is actually quite important because he allows us to get some perspective on just how large this arch actually is. Now, as I mentioned just a couple seconds ago, what we did was we corrected the toning for the entire picture. But what if there are some areas of the photo, like this area right over here, that we still want to make a little bit lighter, but we don't want to affect the rest of the picture? We can do that with image adjustment curves as long as we first use what's called the lasso tool to lasso the area. So the lasso tool is effectively a drawing tool. And it allows us to make a selection on the page by tracing around the area that we want to lasso, just like so. Now, once the lasso tool is done, a selection pops up on the screen. And that selection is basically white and black cursors flashing. And sometimes people call these the marching ants because they look like ants marching across the screen. And once a selection has been made, any changes will only occur inside of the selection. They won't occur anywhere else outside of the selection. But before we make those changes, we want to do one other thing to this lasso tool. We want to go to the Select pull-down menu, pull down to something called Modify, and slide over to something called Feather. So what is feathering? Feathering is when we take a selection and basically round off its corners. And the purpose behind feathering is to make any changes that we make here inside of the selected area blend more seamlessly into the changes that we are not making on this side of the um, selected area. Effectively, if you think about it for a second, it's a little bit like if you took a cold beverage with ice in it, put it on a table, and then lifted it up to your mouth. You might look back down at the table and see a ring around the table where the cold beverage was just a second ago. If we don't feather this selection, we're going to see a ring that appears around the selected area, and it's not going to be something we want to have happen. So we're going to take this and make the feather radius 50 pixels. That's a good number for this. Go ahead and hit OK. And when I hit OK, notice what happens to the selected area. The corners of it have been rounded off. Now we go back to Image, Adjustments, and Curves. And any lightening that we do right now will only take place inside 
of the lassoed area. It doesn't take place out here at all, just inside of here. So now I'm going to hit OK. And there we go. Now those changes that we just made have improved the photo immensely, especially down here. One area that hasn't been approved is the sky. And that's because the first effort to lighten this photo has taken some of the blue that used to exist in the sky and washed it out. So let's use the lasso tool one more time to lasso the sky. And as we do that, we are coming back around now to the top and then down to where we began. And we can select, modify, feather that selection, just like we did with the other one. And this time under image adjustments and curves, what we're going to do is we are going to pull down and to the right to darken the sky, which will hopefully add a little bit of that blue back. There we go. And now we can hit OK. Now to show you what we've done, let's go ahead and take this file and give it a new name. We'll call it Utah 2. Save it. And then let's call up the old photograph, just old Utah. And there's the old picture. And here's the new picture. Old picture. New picture. Old picture new picture. So I hope that helps you understand what toning is and how we can do it to any pictures that we're going to use for our designs that we have that we're concerned about whether they're too dark or too light. Thank you very much for listening.